Howdy folks, just like I had promised, another nail gun. Yeah, this one is a Brad nail. What is a Brad nail? Well, we'll get into that, I guess. But <laughs> first, here's what we're looking at today. It's electric, so in other words, you charge the battery up on this thing, so it makes it very portable. Fires 5 8 to inch and 3 8 Brad nails. So, actually, that picture right there is kind of cool because it sort of shows you what a Brad nail is. It has like a T head on it, and uh, that's the shape. It's not rounded like a you know the old-fashioned nail kind of thing. And brad nails are great for putting you know pieces of lumber together where you're going to be gluing something up or holding something in place. A lot of times in furniture and stuff, uh, they will use brad nails to put the basic frames together on like couches and chairs and stuff even, and that's it. There is no glue. They just you know brad nail it kind of thing. So brad nails are pretty cool. But let's check this machine out right here. This is from a company called Linknall, and Linknall sent this over to us so we could check it all out. And I haven't got out of the box yet, so the first thing we're going to have to do is probably charge the battery. And I hope they included a sampler of some nails. Actually, it doesn't matter. I have lots of brad nails here, so yeah, we'll find out. So this box came in a box, and this box here includes this. So Linknall has a really nice case, which is really good. I like a lot of the power tools and stuff around here that have this sort of thing because you can stack them up and when you want a certain tool out, you can pull that particular, like a drawer almost, you know, pull it out and sort of like get into it. This is a really nice reinforced heavy case with a nice handle on it. So we're looking good already. Let's get this off and there'll be a description in the, uh, there'll be a link in the description below where you can find this goodie. Oh, it's oh, it's well packed. Wow, thick, 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 thick service manual. And get the plastic out. Get the battery uh, charger. There we go. And oh, two batteries. That's even better because that may <laughs> that means you don't have to stop. Kind of looks like a uh, yeah, a little bit of like a Craftsman battery or something they've got here. So we'll get these. Uh, set up and get charging and that way we can fire some brad nails did they include some brad nails no uh looks like they and we've got some different parts here but no brad nails that's fine oh, wait a minute oh, 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 oh. i do believe yes they included the inch and a three eighths set of brad nails and quite a few actually that's that's a good stack of brad nails right there now how do you get this off hmm. okay first problem <laughs> first problem to get these off it, they look a little hard to get off for some reason actually if you push this button right here this releases the battery yeah, it also releases this cover you might want to actually hang on to those covers because it would sort of help protect the battery from sawdust and garbage around the shop so actually this is not necessarily something you want to just throw away now we're we're charging so once once we get charged i'm going to get some scrap wood and we're going to you know bang 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 <laughs> yeah Boom, yes, the other thing I wanted to uh, mention was the uh, trim trim work, trim around the house, that kind of thing. These are fabulous for doing any kind of trim work, but uh, also tacking up small projects and stuff, like I said, when you're gluing them in. And whatever wood project you're doing, a lot of times a little brad nail, you know, here and there to hold things together. Uh, I've got two batteries, they're fully charged now, so we'll get into that in a minute here. The other thing I wanted to show you was a little bit of the safety related. It was nice that they did include a pair of goggles, because uh, when you're using a brad nail gun, it's it's kind of like, yeah, it's, it's just sort of like things can explode real quick in your face all of a sudden if something goes wrong. And brad nails are, they're just like, they're so handy, it's great, but there's so many things that can go wrong. You've got to be really on your toes sometimes because it's amazing. I've seen people grab a piece of lumber and uh, a brad nail gun and have the lumber and trying to put it through like this. And it's like, no, you know, and that's where the accident usually occurs. So you've got to be really uh, on your toes about where that nail is going to be going. And if anything goes wrong, because I've also seen where the nail on a hard piece of lumber or something has gone in and turned you know maybe comment below in the sections that you had if you've had any accidents or know of any accidents that occurred with brad nail guns because there's a lot that can gain that you know they're great but like any tool in the shop you got to respect it and there's a lot of things that can go wrong now i'm going to get uh i cut some wood since i changed my t-shirt because 90 degrees in september but it's you know it's 
it's Texas, you know. Now today we've got more storms and rain here, so that's kind of helping things to, you know, keep it cooled down a little bit in here, because otherwise, uh, this garage in here where I'm at right now can get up over 100, yeah, in the summer. It can get pretty bad. And when I say summer, I'm talking till October, November, I don't know, it, gets, it stays warm here, okay. Besides trim and all that other work that we talked about, one of the favorites is, uh, you know, putting something together like a 45 where you want to kind of really glue it together, but you also want to hold it really well, and a lot of times you'll want to put a brad nail through. The problem with something like this is your hands. You want to keep your hands away from anywhere where that nail can be, or if it goes wrong. So in other words, you don't want to be holding it like, like on the side like this, and even punch the brad nail through because there's a good chance if that lumber is a hardwood, so just mostly a hardwood. If that nail decides it doesn't want to go that way and it turns out the side or something, it catches you in the thumb or the fingers or something, yeah, it, it, bad things can happen. So uh, a lot of times when I'm brad nailing, I will be uh, using clamps and stuff to hold everything in place so that my hands are away from this area so that when I go to put the brad nail in, I don't have fingers or anything in the area. Even if the nail decides to turn out, my hands or my fingers are not there, you know. Yeah, because it's it's a bad act. So a lot of times, such as I've got a wood bench right here, a lot of times the best thing to do is to put in a vise or use clamps and uh, clamp something up because uh, like this idea where it's held and you can, you know, get your pieces together and hold it and then put your brad nail in like that and your your hand everything is away from that brad nail because ah oh, i have seen i have had some real close calls myself you know <laughs> yeah now the very first thing i want to do is just check the gun itself uh, we'll need a battery in the gun which it, of course it goes in just like the uh really reminds me of the craftsman now we've got a light on in here which is kind of cool and the light also lights up the various lengths so it shows me that I have a full one and three eighths nail loaded in this gun just by the indicator right here, which is, you know, again, this is modern stuff, man. It's, it's cool, you know. <laughs> so we're gonna do this and cool. Now that put the nail like a finish nail, it's what it reminds me of the old the old carpenter's finish nails. The nail is just below the head of the wood, which is about where you'd want it for most projects. Uh, that's the only other thing I have, I guess, with brad nails, is if you do use brad nails, then don't try running this through a thickness planer afterwards or something, because, yeah, you've now got metal in the wood, obviously. Like, it could be a screw, a nail, whatever, or in this case, brad nail. Brad nails will hold really well. Now, this is thicker than inch and three-eighths. This is actually inch and a half lumber, so it, um, I really was uh, kind of worried a little bit for a second there, realizing it could go through, but it, no, it did not. It's, it sank the nail right to the head, so the head is just below the wood, which means you could actually take some wood filler and finish that in if you wanted to hide the brad nails or something like that. I have seen that done, and then paint it over or something like that on like trim, especially wood trim around the houses. These are so incredibly handy for doing wood trim, and it's so fast because you just bang, 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 you know, and you put the stuff up. This is a... Uh, Quite a large uh, brad nail gun. It's it's quite big, but it's also very strong. You can hear it with the, you know, bang, bang. yeah, and it's fast. <laughs> so you can put a lot of nails in quickly. And you can see I've sunk every one of those nails sank down through. Wow, it's an awesome tool. Unlike a screw, a brad nail is more like either a temporary or a finishing nail. So it's not a lot of strength or anything, but let's just put something here together and tear it apart because a lot of times with a brad nail, you're just looking to hold something and you might put a couple in like that and it's just to hold it there in place until maybe the glue sets or something like that and you've got this nice little, you know, 90 or whatever that you're making. Now, to bust that apart, just that's yeah it's that easy that's the whole thing about brad nails they're to hold something together is great but uh if you decide you're going to tear your work apart afterwards like that you know you just pull it apart and then I get those nails out of there that's uh yeah good luck with that 
<laughs> this is going to the burn pile <laughs> after we're done today <laughs> because there's too there's too many nails embedded now in this piece of lumber. This is just some scrap I had left over from a project we were doing uh, a couple of weeks ago, so no biggie. Yeah, no tr no problem at all. And in fact, uh, this is some really cheap, nasty uh, stuff from Home Depot. Mm, where else would you get? Yeah, great stuff. Anyway, uh, nice features. And the uh, loading and unloading is right there. And you can, you know, once you put your nails in, you're all loaded. Now, when you put your brad nails in, always make sure that the bottom of the pin is on the bottom of the track here. And it slides back and forth all the way up. And then you close her up. Uh, yeah, I've seen people actually load a brad nail gun the wrong way. So, yeah, it happens. This has got uh, some fancy finishes on here. It's uh, definitely got the strength. Uh, as far as how long the battery lasts uh, per run, I don't know. We'll, we'll, I don't know if it has a rating or not, but this is an 18 gauge. And it uh, shows fasteners. Uh, magazine 105 nails, which is, you know, quite a few. Maximum rate, okay, three nails per second. I uh, sort of figured on that. I had that feeling it was three nails a second. I don't know why I thought that, but it is. Yeah, there's the manual covers a tremendous amount of information here. Now, there's one other thing that I didn't do. I didn't have my safety glasses on. I really should. I, you really should have had the, the glasses on. That was a, that was a you know, a bad. <laughs> but I really should have had them on there. <laughs> But um, I didn't think too much could possibly go wrong, but you know, that's sometimes that's exactly when the accident occurs, right? You know, yeah, the great thing about this gun here is it's so portable with the batteries and because you got two batteries If uh, at some point halfway through the job or something you need to switch out you do have that option The uh, charger is a nice little charger it has a green little flashing light that flashes green when it's charging the battery when the battery is fully charged uh, the green light just stays on solid, so yeah, that tells you the battery is full. I don't think there's a battery tester on here, or is there? Oh yeah, there is. Okay, we got a little button right here with two little green lights, or three, three little green lights that uh, show you when she's full. So that's cool. And when you're storing this stuff, it actually wouldn't be wouldn't be a bad thing to just keep those on there to help keep the dust and the dirt out of those uh, connectors where they uh, connect to the machine. Yeah, overall, link and all, you, you've got a nice machine. Now this is what uh, the safety feature is here with this. This little button right here has to be depressed just right or it will not allow it to, to go off. Now, that can get aggravating sometimes when you're using a brad nail gun and if you have trouble getting in there towards where you're trying to shoot or something. Now, yeah, see, I didn't have any problem with that, but the head is not quite sunk. To finish that, uh, you can get a pin a little pin driver and a hammer and of course drive that in fully if you need it uh, down below the surface because this is just, yeah, she's just hanging up the top a little bit. Uh, also there's an adjustment right here for depth which sets this as well. And again that's something, you, you know, you custom set that to what you need for your gun. That is so cool with those lights in the front here showing me that I've got a full inch and three eighths nail loaded in that gun. That is really neat. I like that quite a little, you know, a feature I haven't seen before in any other gun. Um, and the uh, gun itself is stable, so with the battery on it, you can set it that way. When you're not using it, you can set it out of the way for a minute until you're ready to, you know, grab it and use it again. Nice. The other thing I like is the case. The case is cool because it has a spot here for brad nails. So if you keep everything together in this case, when you get your gun out, you don't have to go looking you don't have to be like me and go looking for the brad nails and go, where did I last leave a pack of brad nails around here? Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do that a lot, you know. <laughs> yeah. I probably already said it, but always take the gun, you know, take the battery out if you're not going to be using it. And there are a couple of reasons for that. One is the light in here at the front here seems to stay on as long as that battery is engaged. So another reason to remove the battery when you're not using it. Also the safety of it because uh, God knows somebody would, you know, pick, put their finger right there on that trigger and allow the gun to, you know, go off or something. <laughs> yeah. Wow, what a nice tool. I am glad they sent this over because I have a brad nail gun. It's pneumatic and it only shoots like two inch pins. So it's cool, but it's limited to size and what it can do. And obviously it has to be within an airline or you're not going to be able to, you know, shoot nails. This thing obviously will shoot brad nails anywhere you need a brad nail.
Now, one battery should last approximately 2,600 nails. Yeah, one battery so on a full charge. So that's, that's cool. Uh, this kit comes with 3,000 uh, nails. So again, 3,000 brad nails. So yeah, you got lots of, lots of nails to work with. <laughs> Okay. We're going to have a link in the description below, but the link will be through, I believe it's Amazon, which would be really cool. I like dealing with Amazon because it gets fast and, you know, delivery. But also, uh, we'll have a discount coupon code so you can get yourself some uh, money off of this bad boy if you decide. If you have a wood shop, you should have maybe, maybe even more than one uh, type of uh, Brad gun around. Like, that's sort of like where I'm at, where, you know, one gun does not do all. But uh, this one here is definitely nice for those uh, wood projects around the house. Absolutely, you know. There's one other thing I gotta check here, and we're just gonna find out right now because this is something that uh, it varies, company to company even, it varies. Now there is some hardware here so you can hang this thing uh, if you want to, that goes on the gun. I don't have it installed, I'm not even gonna bother with it because I, I don't usually, I usually just kind of keep my guns around, you know, like this, throw them in a drawer or something. But, this one came with a nice case. So I just want to put this back in the case. Be good to. And also want to put the batteries in here and the charger. Okay, now. Okay, there's another place here for this battery. We also have the book. And the brad nails are back in. And we can completely close that case up. Yep. And let's see if we can get it. Okay, we're, we're hung up here someplace. Oh, okay, there it goes. It was the uh, power port, I think. No, no, it's not. Nope, nope, nope. All right, um, let's see. Where are we hung up here? Let's, yeah, let's see if we can't. Okay, completely tight. Yep, okay. And everything's tight. And there it is. So, wow, yeah, look at that. Woohoo, yeah. Everything went back in the case. So this is now a complete kit, ready to go up on the shelf. Now, the minute you need a brad gun, you can pull that out and you're all set to you know, do brad gun work. Yeah. <laughs> that is really cool, great. Oh man, I gotta think. We gotta, we gotta say big thanks out there to uh, Linknall for sending this over. This is a nice gun. Also, uh, something I didn't mention, but you, you probably didn't notice it or whatever, but. It doesn't have a lot of kickback, which is kind of good when you're doing brad nail work because sometimes the, some of the guns can really smack your heart or something. That one seemed to sort of cushion itself so it didn't really have too much kickback on it, which is a good thing. And also there's, there's four little feet right here. Again, so this is designed to nicely sit on a shelf somewhere and you can stack the rest of your other you know tools up on it with other boxes if you have boxes like this for your tools. And apparently this part here was just for display and shipping, but I guess we don't need it. It's uh, quite a piece of plastic they got there. Anyways, there's been a lot of uh, things going on here with the channel, that uh, background things you guys won't see. I said a lot of changes. There are a lot of changes. You're not gonna see most of, uh, probably 90% of the changes, you're not gonna be seeing them. But what it is is more for uh, SEO, search engines, you know, that kind of stuff. So anyways, hopefully it'll all, it, maybe it'll work. I don't know, we'll see. Anyways. I gotta thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. And please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell. We give free stuff away. In fact, we've got another freebie coming up uh, this week. This week we've got another freebie coming up, yes. Meantime, I'm gonna get out of here. And thank you so much, guys and girls, for watching. And over and out.